How's your morning? Yeah, my, my morning was good. Um, yeah. My evening was even better when I actually saw the film. Hey, go um, on, let's talk about the bedroom scene, shall we? <laughs> the wedding night wedding scene. Night, yeah. yeah, that must have been interesting to film. Romantic. It was just fun, very romantic. <laughs> yeah. It was just hilarious. I think we were both trying not to laugh most of the time when you're, when you're sitting in a room doing, doing a scene like that and there are about six people around just watching you. Um, it's you're just, brilliant it's just funny. Scene. It's just really funny. Were. And when Nick, when you shoved Emma into a ditch, funny that. Yeah. How, how was that for you, acting in this role? Uh, I had a lot of fun with the role. He, Harley is, you know, he's a politician who's uh, trying to gain control and keeps on losing it and can see how the ear of the Queen completely changes the sway of the court and what happens to the country. So he's constantly trying to, you know, spin plates and figure out how he can get his word and, and, and what he wants to happen to her. Um, it's a really fun character to play because he's very witty and, and, and dry. And Joe, um, how would you sum up your character? I would say he's a bit of an airhead. Uh, he's not the brightest guy. Um, he does, however, have some status and uh, he sees Abigail and kind of lusts after. She's this, she's the kind of new young thing and uh, and there's this cat and mouse game that develops between the two of them, whereas where he chases her, and I think he enjoys that thrill of um, the thrill of the chase and the the power play between them. And she in turn um, sees him as a, as a as an opportunity to climb rank. And when I spoke to you at the Mary Queen of Scots premiere, mm -hmm. you told me all about kind of your rehearsal period. How was <laughs> it? rolling around and doing all these weird exercises with the likes of Rachel Weisz, Emma Stone and Olivia Colman, because that must have been a real experience with your gosh, <laughs> that rehearsal period. It was fun. I mean, it was, it was a little weird at the beginning because no one knew what we were doing or why we were doing it. But once we all just jumped into that and kind of we'll realised that Yorgos wasn't going to explain anything to us, it, uh, it, it, was, it was good fun. Yeah, we all made a fool of ourselves in front of each other and then had fun and then it kind of... I think there was like this thing where it got us all on the same rhythm and an understanding of, mm -hmm. even though we it was all kind of subconscious because we weren't aware of what Yorgos was aiming for, I think ultimately he maybe gained what he wanted. <laughs> I mean, I, I think kind of, I think he gained what he wanted is a bit of an understatement, you know, Golden Globe nominated, Screen Actors Guild Award nomination, a lot of Oscar bars. As actors, being in this movie, which is receiving so much recognition, that must just be the best feeling. It's really, we were saying it's really great to be in a film that people are excited about seeing, and especially a film that we love making so much and so happy to be a part of. The fact that then on top of that, people are excited about seeing it or enjoying it or it's doing well, uh, it's just a bonus, definitely. And just finally, you know, this is a very physical movie in what we were saying about the scene earlier, all the scenes in the forest when you got kicked and when you pushed Emma Stone into a ditch, mm. that whole rehearsal aspect, did it all make much more sense actually filming the movie? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't think, uh, but again, it's just that fresh original take on, you know, normally when you'd read a script that was based in this period, it'd be quite, you know, dare I say a little bit boring probably, uh, and quite straightforward. And all the flair of Yorgos and Tony, the writer, combined with the, the dialogue and those physical things just make it a lot of fun and take it out of um, being a classic period drama. Yeah, I think classic is definitely the word <laughs> for this movie. Guys, thank you so thank much. Thank you. Hey, thank you very much. Thank you. Nice tie up.